hi sweeties how are you all doing in today's tutorial i'll be showing us how i made this beautiful booboo -boo dress with a lapel and neck collar i made this beautiful dress with a three years of duchess fabrics by 60 length and the lapel, the fabrics I use for the lapel is one yard of material. So please, in case you are coming across my channel for the first time, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you also watch this video to the end because everything you need to know about the making of this dress is in this video. So let's quickly get started. So I folded my fabrics twice because I'm cutting both the back and the front part together. So I'm taking one inch for my back neck depth and three and a half inches for my neck width. So from there I came down by 13 inches and this 13 inches will serve as my sleeve width. The length of my gown is 58 inches and that's all I need for my vertical measurement. So I'll go ahead and take the length of my sleeve. I'm taking 23 inches for my sleeve length. And from there I will come down by 13 inches which will serve which will also serve as my neck my sleeve width as i said before so i will take that at 10 inches then i will connect the sleeve width line so from there i will come in by three inches then I will connect it to the down part of my dress. I'm taking one inch for my shoulder slope. I will also connect it to the neck part of my dress. So I'll go ahead and cut. Remember, I'm cutting both the back and the front part of this dress together. So I will remove the back part. Then I will concentrate on the front part of the dress. So I came down by seven inches. Then from there, I went in by two inches so I'm going to cut out this I'm going to measure these two inches to the down part of my booboo dress then after taking the two inches measurement I'll connect it then I will cut it out so I'm going to replace these two inches with my lapel Please make sure you watch this video to the end because this dress is very very beautiful. So I will connect it to the to my neck width. You can decide to take the two inches even from the neck. So I will cut it out. I first of all cut out the neck part. Where I came down by seven inches. So 
So this is the material I'm using for my lapel. So I'm taking five inches width for both sewing allowance. This is one yard here. This is one yard of. I think this is flower duchess too. And this is one yard. So I finished the whole one yard. So I'll go ahead and iron my hasty on it. Then I will fold one side of it by 0 0.5 inch. After ironing my hasty. You know, I'm using it for the lapel, so you don't need to be so light. So I'll iron it. After ironing it, I'll go ahead and stitch it to the main dress, the front part. Okay, see so what I'm doing. I'll place the lapel inside then I will now place the main fabrics on top both of the right side are facing up put the right side of the main fabrics and the lapel can you see I've attached I've attached it to the main dress so I will iron it, then I will now use it to cover the place where I stitch. Remember it's 5 inches width, so it's enough to give me the 2 inches which I cut out. So I will iron it very well. Iron it so that the line where you fold it will show. Can you see that? I'll iron it to the down part. I'll give it a very good press. So I'll do the same thing to the other side. Can you see I've ironed the both side so from there I will come down by seven inches I'm just measuring it so that it will be clear you know I've taken the seven inches before seven inches from my neck from the shoulder from the upside so I will pin it just for easy identification can you see then I will hold the two because I'm going to stitch it together. That line where I say you should iron well, where you bend it. So that's where I'm going to stitch together. I'm going to stitch the both sides together. And the seven inches, this place will be open. So I'll stitch it down. You know, this dress has a slit by the downside. So I will stitch till where I want my opening to start where I want my slit to start so I'm just putting a pin in it so that you see how I'm going to stitch it so I'll stitch it down please watch so very well Watch carefully so that you will understand it. It's very, very simple. So after stitching it, I will now close it. I will close it. Can you see that? So 
So I will now measure from my shoulder to where I want my slit to start. That is about 35 inches. So that's where my stitch is going to stop. So I'll put a pin for easily identification so that when I reach there, I will stop. I will also put a chalk in case this pin fall out. Can you see? I've stitched it. So I'll go ahead and cut out my the width and the length, the depth and the width of my neckline, which is three by three and a half inches. Three inches depth and three and a half inches width. Can you see that? The normal way you cut out your neck width and neck depth so this is what it look like three inches neck depth for the front parts So I'll go ahead and stitch the shoulder, both the back and the front together, I will join it. Then the front part, I will join it together. Can you see? So I'll join the shoulder. So this is what I'm going to be using for my collar is about five inches width and seventeen and a half inches long plus sewing allowance. So I added one inch for my sewing allowance. So that made it about eighteen and a half inches long. So before you cut out your collar, you have to make measure the your round neck. So after ironing it, see the way I iron it, iron one side with 0 0.5 inch. So I will now cut out the neck. I'll cut out my neck with just watch what I'm doing. So I'm taking the 18 and a half inches. So I'll cut it out. So this is what it look like. So I have to give it a good trimming so that I will get what I want. So I have to cut out the base of my collar. So the length of the base of my collar will be about 16 and a half inches. Sixteen and a half inches.
so i'll trim it out so very well can you see that so this is what it looked like so i'll go ahead and cut another fabrics and I will place the base on top of it then I will stitch just watch the side I'm stitching so I've stitched I've stitched it then I top stitch on the one I use I place the base on top So I'll go ahead and trim out the SS. So iron. Iron very, very well. So this is another pieces. Please watch what I'm doing, then I will turn it. Can you see that? I will turn it, then I will stitch on the both side. Can you see I've turned the I've turned it can you see so I'll go ahead and stitch it on this last piece that I'm cutting so watch where my my finger is that's where I'm going to stitch as I'm going to stitch it so I'm done stitching it the next thing I will do is to turn it so I'll make a notch sorry I forgot I made a notch first after notching, I will go make sure you notch so that turning it will not be difficult for you. Can you see what I'm doing? See? See our color? So I'll go ahead and iron. Please iron very well. See, I place another fabric on top while ironing. So this is the back part of my collar. So I'll go ahead and trim out the SSs. Then the next thing I will do is to stitch my collar to my to the main dress. 
So I'll fold it into two and I will notch the middle. I'll fold the neck into two. Then I will do the same thing to the collar. Make sure you first of all match your collar to the main dress to the neck so that you know whether your measurement is right make sure the length of the collar and that of the main dress is the same thing so that you don't have excess so match it see what i'm doing So after stitching it, I will now close it. Can you see that? I will now close the stitching. Then I will stitch on it. Can you see our color? So neat and beautiful. you see please guys don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel and make sure you put on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that other people will see and learn from it please subscribe to my channel thank you and God bless you So I'm going to be using this for the side as you saw in the video so I'm folding it twice this is four inches two inches on fold so I'll fold it I folded it equal can you see so I will now attach it from the down parts I will cross the shoulder then to the down part of the other side of the dress it's very long remember the length of this gown is 58 inches so it's just about 58 inches and the sleeve part too so it's long so I'll just cross the shoulder I'll sew it past the shoulder so this is it so I will now take my 13 inches for my sh my sleeve width so that place will be open then I will now stitch the other part together to the down part remember my sleeve width is 13 inches so after the end I will now stitch the other part together so this is it So after 13 inches remember i will now stitch it together the two sides so i'm stitching the front part of the dress not the back because of the lapel i'm using by the side so i have to stitch it i have to close it can you see 
the two sides i'm stitching it from the front so you know this cloth has a rope inside so this is what i'm going to use to tie it this is one and a half inches on food so i will stitch it inside so guys this is the end of this tutorial this dress is very very beautiful so make sure you either make this for yourself or you make it for your customer thank you so very much remember i said i use three years of duchess fabrics to achieve this and the lapel is one one yard of flower duchess so so guys please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel and put on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video thanks so very much for watching and bye for now mm -hmm.